What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are continuing the Ichiban Kuji series Dragon Ball vs Omnibus Super with prize uh, E. E comes after D. Prize E, uh, Super Saiyan Trunks or Super Trunks or Ultra Super Saiyan Trunks or as I call him, Super Saiyan Grade 3 Trunks, uh, but it's easier to just call him Super Saiyan Trunks. But like always guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and of course hit that bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video I upload every week. Like the video if you enjoy it and comment down your thoughts down below in the comment section. I keep doing that, comment down, you're down. Uh, comment down below in the comment section your thoughts behind the figure after the review is over. Uh, so this is one of the highlights of, of this set. I know that without even opening it. Uh, Omega Shenron is incredible. He's huge. He's heavy. It was like a puzzle putting him together with all the different horns and spikes that he has. Um, but this figure, uh, people love Trunks. And uh, this is an iconic moment from the anime and the manga of him uh, thinking that he's stronger than Vegeta, but uh, everyone knows that Goku and Vegeta both know how to access this form. They found it to be too slow. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just awesome. It's it's the Broly Trunks. Um, so, um, but yeah, let's let's dive into this thing. And uh, before uh, we get into all that, let's uh, take a look at the box. Then we'll do some size comparisons and I'll give our thoughts behind the figure. And then we'll give our final thoughts at the end out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. Another fan favorite in this Ichiban Kuji series. This form for Trunks goes by many names. Super Trunks, Ultra Saiyan Trunks, Super Saiyan Grade 3 is the official name, but for the sake of the review, I'm going to refer to him as Super Trunks. Will this figure live up to the hype we've all built up? Let's find out. This figure is based on Super Trunks during his fight with Cell during the Android Saga of Dragon Ball Z. His pose is based on the moment he first transforms to fight Cell from the iconic page from the manga. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Banpresto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibansho versions released in limited quantity if at all. The prizes vary from art boards, towels, phone straps, or a plush but the most sought after prizes are the figures and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This set consists of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan Trunks, Perfect Cell, Cell Jr. and Ultimate Shenron. This Kuji set was released in Japan on December 11th, 2021 and will release overseas sometime in February or March 2022 there are no variations of this figure. I paid about $70, but you can find the overseas figure for about $45 to $50. Link is in the description. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at about nine and a half inches tall, a great size for a figure.
This figure comes in two pieces. Trunks comes whole and with a support for his foot. He can stand without the support, but due to his size and weight, I suggest leaving it on. Wow, what a great figure. It's about time we got a Master Lee's Trunks, which honestly, I don't think we've ever gotten. His likeness is perfect. The absence of his eyes with his angry look captures the moment from the anime and manga perfectly. The paint application is fantastic. They went with the not so subtle route with his shading all over. You can see it subtly on his armor, but his hair has dramatic dark and light yellows, while his blue jumpsuit has very pronounced blacks to look like his anime and manga counterpart. While this isn't the biggest figure in this set, it certainly scales well with most figures. Trunks clearly gets larger when he's in this form, but is still shorter than Cell when he fights him. So I believe that 9.5 inches is a perfect mark for something like this. The sculpt was done perfectly too. They even got his strand of hair correctly going across his face, and his huge, bulging muscles were built to perfection as well. Also, they didn't forget to give him his signature dump truck. Overall, this is an incredible Trunks figure. They spared no detail when trying to emulate his manga appearance. His hair is huge and eye-catching, and just the fact that we got this version of Trunks as a high-quality figure is amazing on its own. I'm giving this one 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls and the best Trunks figure in my collection. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please let me know your thoughts down below. If you've already picked this figure up, if you plan on getting him, I would love to uh, hear from you guys. One of my favorite things about, you know, making videos on YouTube and, and growing is that I get to interact with you guys a lot. You know, I have people messaging me on the all the time on Instagram, asking me questions or um, people commenting on posts or the videos asking where to buy things, you know, where to go. So that's why I'm, I'm in the process of creating a, uh, a figure guide. And my buddy Travis on Facebook, he uh, he suggested it and, you know, it was a great idea. So he's uh, he's been he's new to collecting. So he's been asking like a lot of questions that I want to touch on in the video. So it's not going to be a perfect collector's uh, uh, guide or series, but I'm going to do my best, at least for things that uh, that, you know, are, are uh, relevant to this channel. So uh, either way, thanks again for watching. Please comment down below, leave a like, share, uh, subscribe, and hit that bell so we can fight the algorithm that is YouTube. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks, you.